Hello and welcome to episode 2 of the Blue Bandana Podcast. I'm currently recording this in the same day as my first one and I'm just now realizing that I should probably give this a name. If I do give it a name, I'll announce it later. But for now, let's just go through another article, and this article, this time, will be my most previous article that I've released, and it is uh, just covering SPF myths. And I was very surprised when I was writing this, because I did, I never n- noticed how many myths there are regarding sunscreen use and the need for SPF. So the first myth that I covered is that you don't need it when you're indoors, and I actually learned something when I was researching this one. So you do need it indoors, but it's just a low SPF that you would need since you have window protection. However, you do need it when you're indoors because windows are only meant, sorry, my phone's ringing. Uh, You only need it uh, to protect UVA rays, which are let through the windows. Uh, So in order to still get that protection, you can buy a daily moisturizer that has SPF 15, Um, that's what I use. I actually don't know of anything else, maybe a lotion that has SPF, but it's just, uh, you can find a daily care product and, uh, if it has SPF at least 15, then you should be okay. Now, my second myth is more melanin equals less SPF needed. And I can see where this myth comes from because I did want to include that if you have more melanin, then your chance of getting skin cancer is definitely uh, lower, but you should still wear SPF because that chance is not zero. Uh, and I included in my article that an issue with this myth being spread is that, uh, when someone has more melanin, it does kind of get that concern of skin cancer out of their mind. So because it's not on their mind, their, uh, detection of it is so much later And, you know, with cancer, a later detection doesn't always result in a positive outcome. Now, my third myth that I included is that higher SPFs are better. And this is only true to a certain extent. Uh, And by that, I mean the highest protection you can really get is SPF 50. And I say that because anything beyond SPF 50 is just the same amount of protection. It's just a longer endurance uh, so if you get an SPF 100 sunscreen, then it has the same protection as an SPF 50. It's just that it that protection lasts a little longer. Um, my fourth myth is that no sun equals no UV rays in the atmosphere. And that is very false. Uh, there are still UV rays when there are is overcast weather even if it's raining there can still be some uv rays because that uh those rays can break through those clouds and those uh areas of dense water condensation now my next myth is that spray sunscreen is better spray sunscreen is easier to put on i will admit that i used to love spray sunscreen because i hated spending time putting the lotion sunscreen on but it's just less effective because of how quick you're applying it and sometimes you don't let it dry uh to the amount of time that it needs and you just miss a couple spots so definitely uh reconsider using a lotion type sunscreen i definitely have after doing my research and i've been using a cream sunscreen for the past couple of years because i did realize myself that spray sunscreen is it's effect it's not effective but it's quick and now my last myth that i looked into was that you don't need to wear sunscreen when it is snowy now i will tell you that that this is just a myth and in real life it's actually double the uv radiation when it's snowy because there is a concept called albedo and that basically means that uh sunlight will reflect off of certain surfaces Uh, And here on Earth, the brighter the surface, or at least the lighter in color, then the more sun rays are going to be reflected. So because snow has an albedo of zero because it is white, that is going to equal a lot of UV radiation. So I just wanted to warn you and give all of these myths and 
debunk some of them, and hopefully you can decide some safer sun protection practices in the future. All right, thank you for coming. Adios.